You never know when an emergency can happen, so always being prepared is very important, and that starts with organization. Aaron Snyder is here again from NeatonYourNest.com with some advice for us this morning. Hey, Aaron. Good morning. All right, so you've brought a lot of stuff. You know, we all think about that. Oh, yeah, I should be prepared for an emergency, and then, you know, you put it off, and right. then that's when something's going to happen, right? Ideally, you want to prevent an emergency, but they do happen, so you want to be prepared, and okay. you want your whole family to be prepared, too. So first, it's just something simple. You know, we've heard having a first aid kit, yeah. you know, have one in your house, but there's also mini versions. Keep one in your purse or your car. If you're going hiking, put one in your backpack. Always have one handy. Make sure the kids know how to use them, too. You know, they know what's in there so sure. that you always have it accessible. So, yeah. you know, people in the family, but of course you want to keep it high enough so that the kids can't reach the medicines, but make sure they're accessible, when you, especially when you're traveling and out when there's not a lot of people around. We always talk about the car, especially during mm -hmm. the winter months, because you right. never know when something can happen, you're stuck on the side of the road, right? right? And, and you can keep, you know, an emergency kit, but you could also put gloves and granola bars mm -hmm. and things like that. You know, just if you get stuck somewhere, you want to be able to have a couple of essentials. Okay. What's All right. Next? next, carbon monoxide detectors. A lot of people have smoke detectors, mm -hmm. but carbon monoxide detectors are overlooked a lot. Um, this is a battery operated one. They're very cheap, and we actually just write the date that we want to replace the battery That's on smart. it. You yeah. can use a piece of tape so that it looks neat, but we just scribble it off and write the ne next sure, date. Sure. You want to change them every year. Pick a date, whether it's a birthday, Mother's Day, a holiday, something like that, so you always know when to change them. Okay. All right. And then next is flashlights. Um, if the power goes out, or again, if the car, mm -hmm. if you're in the car and you need some light, we have you know the flashlights everywhere. We've got them in our nightstand, the pantry, both cars. Have the little ones. You can buy a pack of six and split them up. Keep batteries handy too. Exactly. You don't want yep. them to not work when you need them. Exactly. So. Next, I have just a little CPR card. Um, it's important to have some kind of certifications. Uh, this just, if you want to put it in a diaper bag or a car or on the fridge, it just kind of is a gentle reminder okay. on how to do it. But you should get certified so that, you know, if something happens in your family, you know how to do, you know, Very what you important. need to do. Yep. This is a CPR mask. So, oh. you know, hygiene is a big thing now. Yes. So if you ever have to give CPR and you want to make sure that you're protecting yourself, this is just a little bit, a mask that you can cover um, the mouth with. So, you know, you don't have to have that, but it's just something Right. think about. A lot it's, of first responders use that Absolutely. Now All right. Next thing is a child ID kit. Okay. You can get these at the police station. You can put a, a recent photo, uh, update them every six months to a year. You okay. can put, you know, the current weight and height. Also, you can put little samples if you wanted to do fingerprints, if oh, you wanted to put a lock of hair. Yep. So and any information that someone would need in an emergency, if your child were to get lost, you could just hand them the card. You don't have to be searching through doctor's documents these or anything. These are free, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yes, absolutely. they're free. You could make your own or just pick up a couple of these kits. Okay, we're almost out of time. All What's right. this one over here? This is a biggie. Yes, this one is make sure that you have your address well lit um, on your house because if, especially out in a rural area, if someone comes and they cannot find your house, those precious minutes can count. So make sure you've got your address. Make sure you've got a contact sheet here mm. for anyone in your house uh, with your address on it. So many people use cell phones now and landlines are, you know, kind of going the way of the wind. Sure. So people want to make sure that you know exactly where you are. So put your address, all important numbers, and then make sure your house is properly signed. Signed. Important for the kids too. So exactly. Should something happen, they you know need to be able to know exactly where they're located, what numbers to call. Yeah. So we've got neighbors, pediatrician, ER, and the vet too, in case something happens with those pets. All right, Erin Snyder, NeatonYourNest.com. Check her out. More organization tips for you, and she updates regularly. Thanks so much. Thank we'll you, see you for next having time. me.